Yo, what's going on guys? It's Tyler here. In today's video, we're going to be doing a 2019 Oklahoma City Thunder rebuild um, on NBA 2K18. So we have our roster right here. Westbrook, Roberson, Paul George, Jeremy Grant, Adams, Schroeder, Noel, Raymond Felton, Alex Albrinas, and Terrence Ferguson. It's a pretty good roster. Um, I need to figure out if I want to send people to G League or not. But um, regardless, I think it's I think it's a good roster. I think really we need to add one more piece, which I don't know how we would do that. Because if you go to the player contracts, they have a lot, and I mean a lot of of money that ain't going away anytime soon. <clears throat> wow. Um, yeah. So we're gonna definitely have to try to clear up some cap space, make a trade or something. I'm not even really quite sure yet. But uh, we'll figure it out. But obviously, we have to do the first offseason, do the first, uh, see the first season before we get into that. I'd like to thank Jeremy Grant, Roberson, and maybe Adams or Schroeder. I mean, look at this. If we trade all those dudes, we still got. We're so negative in cap space. It's crazy. Anyways, uh, we'll figure it out later. I got my coaching game plan Westbrook, George Schroeder. Then I just left all of Billy Donovan's. Things there, and we are going to uh, sim it for a season and see how we do. I will see you guys at the end of the season. All right, guys, season's over. Steph Curry wins MVP. Luka Doncic rookie of the year. Tyreek Evans six man. Giannis DPOY. Chris Dunn most improved coach of the year. Steve Kerr. <clears throat> we actually turned it up at the end of the season. Um, All NBA. God, I don't understand why 2K never gives your own players credit. All NBA first team. We don't have anybody. Second team. We don't have anybody. Um, third team, nobody. Wow, so <laughs> Westbrook didn't make any of the All NBA teams. Paul George didn't make any of the teams either, which is oh no, Russell Westbrook's All Defensive Second Team. And that looks like it's it. Um, we actually were third in the conference, 51 and 31 records. It's not like we were terrible. About to play the Lakers, round one. Let's go. Seems like the first game, Lakers win. Second game, Lakers win. Third game. We win. Fourth game, Lakers win. Fifth game, we win. Sixth game, and the Lakers beat us in the first round. So the Rockets win the MVP. Um, the Lakers beat us with that terrible team that consists of Michael Beasley and Lance Stevenson and Rondo and McGee and oh, no thanks. All right. So Nerlens Noel declined his player option. Terrence Ferguson accepted. Patrick Patterson accepted. Timothy Larabu Cabarro. I could accept him if I want, but I don't really know if I need him, so I'm going to decline. And then Hamadou Diallo, I'll accept him. Devon Hall, I'll accept him because those guys are both supposed to be good. And um, let's see, so a bunch of people declined. We're going to definitely have free agents to go after here if we want to, but we're going to need that cap space. Alex Abrinas, uh... I guess I'll offer him the extended offer, even though I don't really know if I want him. Now let's go to Trade Finder here. Let's look at Devon Hall. Um, I might send him to the G League because he looks like he's going to be a beast. Potential 88, but it's just it's going to be a while. I should have sent him to the G League last year, actually. Um, <clears throat> Moratorium. Let's see, who can we... We, so we obviously, obviously have no cap space. If we go to cap holds, is there anybody we can get rid of? Yes, but it's not going to be nearly enough to do anything to our cap space right now. Trade finder, I mean, really, if you want to look at this, Roberson and Grant probably need to go. If we really want to clear, to clean up, or clear up cap space, we'd also have to get rid of Adams and Schroeder. But I don't know that I'll be able to get rid of all those guys and still have a good team. So I probably shouldn't do that. I mean, Roberson, Grant, and Schroeder, we got decent players here in return. We could get Kuzma. Kuzma's good. We could get Turn. Ooh, we could get Miles Turner. Hold up. And Sabonis. All right. That might be the move right there. Miles, because what's good about it is Miles Turner's a restricted free agent. When he actually, I think they must have signed an extension. Roberson, Grant, and Schroeder for Turner and Savonis. I'm doing that straight up. Let's go. So we just made an amazing trade. We got Savonis back on the Thunder, who was on the Thunder 
two seasons ago. <clears throat> Let's go. Um, all right. So the the beautiful thing about this is we can make Turner and Sabonis both power forwards, and they both get better. Confirm change. What about Sabonis? So if you look at our roster now, we have. Westbrook and Hall, Diallo and Nader, uh, Paul George and Terrence Ferguson, Miles Turner, Sabonis, and Patterson, and then Steven Adams. So we can definitely, you know, put Sabonis back at center. It's only one overall point less. And um, we have a good big man. I mean, Turner and Steven Adams are going to be amazing together. And then the, the one place we are lacking is shooting guard. Let's look at our player contracts. I probably just made the, the contract situation even worse, honestly. Yeah, but oh well, regardless, it don't matter. Um, so I'm actually going to move, just for the sake of figuring out our roster, I'm going to move Sabonis back to center, just so I can see what we have here. So we got, we need a backup point guard, we need uh, probably another shooting guard, let's just bring Albrinus back. Paul George and Terrence Ferguson, Turner and Patterson, and then Adams and Sabonis. We could bring in, um, hmm. All right, let's see who accepted. D Wade and Pau Gasol both accepted. Rondo accepted another offer, but we got Dwayne Wade and Pau Gasol, so I'm good with it. Now we can bring in a point guard, a different point guard, obviously. Ish Smith, Tadosic, D Rose to wants a ton of money, which is kind of crazy. Tomas Sadoransky is decent. We'll bring Sadoransky in for a one year deal. He agrees. That's probably going to round out our, our, our free agency moves, honestly. I mean, we got... We got Westbrook and Sadoransky, Wade and Diallo and Nader, Paul George and Terrence Ferguson, Miles Turner and Patterson, Adam, Sabonis, Pau Gasol. We can move Pau Gasol to power forward and then keep uh, Sabonis at center. Let's move him to power forward, that he goes up one, keeps a bonus at center, and then we're actually going to be, we should probably go offer Albrinus a contract, because he's waiting around for us. Do we, we didn't get rid of his cap pull, did we? Oh, he's right there. Offer him the minimum. He accepts it. So we get Albrinus back, and then I think that that pretty much sums up our team. So we got our, so we have our training camps here. Untapped potential is gonna go to, we'll give one to Steven Adams. We'll give one to Miles Turner. And then we'll give one to Sabonis because all three of those guys are pretty much maxed out where they're gonna go and then advance next season. I'm pretty excited. I think this team's gonna do really well. Um, I mean, could you imagine Steven Adams and Miles Turner playing together anyways, it'd be, I mean, it would be amazing. They'd get every rebound, they'd be, it'd be, trust me, it'd be amazing. But anyways, here's our team here. We got Westbrook, D. Wade, Paul George, Miles Turner, Steven Adams, Sabonis, Pau Gasol, Sadoransky, Ferguson, Albrinas, who's getting no minutes, which we should probably change that. Actually, before I do anything, so I don't forget, because I always forget, we're gonna send Devin Hall, to the G League, I don't, someone can somebody leave a comment and tell me why? I can only, sometimes I can only send one guy to the G League, and some guys I, sometimes I can send three. Does that have something to do with my staff? Like, is it the the guys I have? Like, something to do with my scout? Or I mean, I don't know why it would have to do with that. But can somebody leave a comment and tell me, please? Because I have no clue why that is, and it's kind of annoying. Does it have something to do with like? I know not all 30 teams have a G League team. So does it something to do with that? Uh, I don't know. Please leave a comment. Let me know. Anyways, so let's go to our scoring options. I'm gonna actually go see Paul George, Westbrook, Turner, and then we're gonna go play through stars. See, see if we can get uh, Westbrook's numbers up this season. Actually, let's look at the minutes. Yeah, I'm, I like these minutes. I'm comfortable with these minutes here. Except Albrinus, maybe we should give him some. Let's take away some of the minutes from D-Wade because he is far too old to be playing uh, 30 minutes a game. 
Cobrinus go up some to go to 10 minutes for Cobrinus. That's going to be our roster, guys. Let's simulate the game, and I will see you, I guess, at the trade deadline. Boom, Westbrook's number one. So apparently, if you want your guy to pull, to, if you want the best player on your team to win MVP, you have to do playthrough star. MVP, and then who's second? Second, who's rookie of the year? It uh, doesn't matter for us. And then, okay, so Westbrook probably will win MVP. Let's look at the all-star this year. We have Westbrook and no one else. Let's all right, guys, so season's over. Somehow, Steph Curry won MVP. R.J. Barrett, Rookie of the Year. R.J. Barrett, Sixth Man of the Year. Whoa, that's that's weird. Giannis, T.P.L.Y. Most Improved, Daniel Tice. Or Tice? Trice? Tice? I don't know how he says it. I think it's Tice. Daniel Tice? Yeah. Nick Nurse, Coach of the Year. And uh, Westbrook ends up being NBA First Team. NBA Second Team, we don't have anybody. NBA Third Team, we don't have anybody. All Defensive First, we have Westbrook. Nobody all defensive second. And then let's see. That looks like it's it. So we ended up being the second seed. The Warriors were the first seed. Let's look at the standings here real quick. The Warriors won 70 games, 70 and 12, and the Raptors won 70 games as well. But anyways, that is it for the regular season. Let's get into the playoffs. Seem like the first game. The Suns are 41 and 41. Come on now. They should definitely get destroyed right now. We win the first one. We win the second. We win the third. Give me that sweep. Let's go. Round two. Gonna be playing the Rockets. Seem like first game. Rockets win. Second game. Rockets win. Third game. Rockets win. Fourth game. And we just got swept by the Rockets. All right. Well, and the Pelicans going to beat the Rockets, and then the Raptors win the title. Who do the Pelicans have? Julius Randle, Anthony Davis. Tony Carr, basically the same team they have now. All right, so I don't know how we just lost to the Rockets. I'm assuming they just have Chris Paul and and uh, James Harden in them. I don't think they have anybody special. I mean, Melo's washed. So let's see. Okay, D. Wade and Pau Gasol both retired, so that's kind of not good for us. But whatever. It's not like you know they're only getting older anyways. And then Nader decline him. We'll keep these two. And then, honestly, oh, Mike Conley's a free agent. Extended qualifying offer to these three, Sabonis, Sadoransky, and um, Albrinus. And then, hopefully, okay, so we got, like, no cap space. If we go to our cap holes, we got, we're negative 45 million. And this is not anywhere close to adding up to even half that. So, we are pretty much screwed. I mean, we can only sign very cheap guys which is no big deal but it's a bonus let's offer him a deal Alec Burks one year 4.78 million let's see if he accepts Sabonis accepts and Burks accepts and I'm gonna go ahead Saransky's accept is a prepare Tomas Saransky is prepared to accept an offer from the Kings so I'm gonna go ahead and match that so he can be our backup point still. And I might actually end up trading someone here. Okay, so we got those guys in our team. Who's left? Look at our roster. We got Westbrook and Sadoransky, Burks, Diallo, and this dude. George and Ferguson, Turner, and then Adams, Sabonis. What happened to our our point guard I sent to the G, to the G League last year? Well, I don't remember Devon Hall. How much does he want? He's mad at us? What is he mad at us for? Bro, you're telling me I really sent this dude to the G League to go up seven overall points? No, he won't even talk to us. <sighs> okay, well. Whatever, we don't want you then anyways. Literally, all I can do is just offer stuff to Aaron Baines. Aaron Baines went to the Rockets. All right, well. Next man up. Comes to Kufus. Come to the Thunder. He signs with the Thunder. I don't know. Let's see what we can get for Sabonis. I mean, worst comes to worst, if we really need to make a trade badly, we could trade Turner and start Sabonis because Turner has a lot more trade value. 
Let's go Turner and see what we can get for Turner. Sarich, Sexton, Bradley and Scott, Paul Millsap, John Collins and Harry Giles would be pretty good. Drogic and Kelly Olenek, Kemba, Rudy Gobert, Buddy and Damari Carroll. That wouldn't be good just as like a depth. We'd have a good shooting guard, a good small backup small forward. Ibaka and Portis, Rondé Hollis Jefferson and Tony Bradley. That would be pretty, probably pretty good. Rondé Hollis Jefferson is kind of the man. Uh, Isaiah, Vucevic, Reggie Jackson, Kennard. Pascal Siakam and Markeith Morris. Lamarcus. I could get Lamarcus Aldridge. I'm not going to do that though. TJ Warren, Al Farouk Aminu, Derek Favors, and Thad Young. That wouldn't be bad. Otto Porter. See, I need a shooting guard. Really, the only shooting guards here are Avery Bradley and Buddy Heald. No, I don't really feel either of those are good enough to get rid of Turner. Can we actually seek out a shooting guard? Let me. I'll come back to you guys once I uh, find a, a, a trade if I do find one. I'm gonna go ahead and try to trade Miles Turner and Alec Burks for Gary Harris and Will Barton. Counter offer. We give them two picks, they give us a pick. That sounds good to me. And we just got Gary Harris and Will Barton for Miles Turner. Two really good shooting guards are gonna benefit this team a lot, a lot more than I think Turner would by himself, even though I love me some Miles Turner. But I think Barton and Harris are gonna do wonders for this team. So let's go to, uh, I guess we're still in the off season, so we'll go to coaching game plan in a minute. So now looking at this team, we have Westbrook, Sadoransky, Harris, Diallo, and Kazalon, Will Barton, um, Ferguson, and George. Now I might move Will Barton to backup shooting guard. I need to see if he goes up if you move him to shooting guard. We've got Sabonis at power forward and Adams Kufas at center. So now we need a power forward, which is all right. It's not, that's not no big deal. Let's go to roster. Let's go Barton to shooting guard. He stays the same, but I'm gonna move him to shooting guard because we need a better two guard. We already have Ferguson and Paul George at point guard, or small forward. I'm just gonna sign Trevor Booker to a one year deal. And then we'll move on with free agency. I'll just let the CPU sign whoever they want to sign because obviously, you know, we got our team now. All right, so we're at training camps. We're going to go ahead and give an untapped potential to... Dang, we have all kinds of guys to give untapped potential to. I'm thinking, how old is uh, Will Barton? I don't know if it's worth it to give one to him. Why not? One to Will Barton. One to Gary Harris. And then I don't know if I should give one to Steven Adams because he's, I mean, the way I do in top potential guys is by age. He's 27, so he probably has like two or three years to improve. But then again, should I give it to Sadoransky, who will be even better backup point guard for us? Or Ferguson. What's he? 77? I'm going to go ahead and give it to Ferguson, actually. I feel like Ferguson would be the best move. Let's advance the next season. So here's our game plan. We got Russell Westbrook, Gary Harris, Paul George, Sabonis, Steven Adams, Will Barton as our sixth man, Tomas Sadoransky, Ferguson, Trevor Booker, Kufis, and then nobody else will be seeing playing time, which is fine with me. Um, I'm probably gonna adjust these minutes a little bit here. We're gonna go Westbrook, Paul George, Damn, and who do I go for my third option? Scoring, I could go all kinds of ways. I could go Gary Harris, Sabonis, or Adams. Wow. I guess I'll go Gary Harris. He's more of a natural scorer um, than, than Adams. Is Adams is kind of just like a clean up whatever you can clean up, you know what I mean? So we're gonna go play through star, shoot at will, crash the glass, play physical defense, and then let's go Let's change some, some of the minutes around here. Um, actually, you know what? I like these minutes. If anything, give, Ferg give Booker less minutes and give some more to like, let's see here. Put Adams to 30, Will Barton to 30, and then Harris to 28. I like these minutes, guys. So let's, uh, let's simulate the season and I'll see you guys at some point. I don't know when it'll be, but you'll figure it out.
All right, guys, we are at the trade deadline right now. We are 44 and 10 on a seven game one streak. First in the conference, 97% team chemistry, 100% fan interest. And this is our year to shine. I feel like I should just stop, stop the rebuild here if we don't win because, I mean, obviously we're doing amazing. We have Russell Westbrook, and that's it for All-Star. Award races, Russell Westbrook's in front. He's got 22 points, 8.7 rebounds, 8.9 assists. That somebody could definitely jump up here and uh, get the MVP right out from under him. Won't be Steph Curry, though. He's not even in the top five. Rookie of the year, we don't have anybody, obviously. We got uh, Will Barton is second, sixth man of the year. 17 points, five rebounds, five assists. Um, and then DPLY, nobody. Most improved, nobody. But yeah, our team is balling out of control right now. I'm wondering if I should change some minutes up here. I don't know. I, th I think our team's doing good. I'm just going to leave it and um, move on. I really like what I do with this team. I'm going to pat myself on the back a lot better than that garbage Lakers rebuild we did the other day. So let's uh, simulate and hopefully we can win it all this year. All right, guys, so season's over. Russell Westbrook wins MVP, 22 points, nine rebounds, nine assists, two steals. Cole Anthony, Rookie of the Year. Will Barton, Sixth Man of the Year. And then Anthony Davis, DPLY. Bertans, Most Improved. Quinn Snyder, Coach of the Year. So we got three guys in the season ending awards. We got Westbrook in first team All NBA. We have no one in second team, nobody third team. Uh, nobody, or we got West Prickle defensive first, and then that's it. Um, all rookie first, nobody, and let's move on. So we went 66 and 16, which is beautiful, and we destroy the Kings. Hopefully, we destroy the Kings. I mean, 3 0. We, we, oh, nope, Kings making a comeback. Kings making a comeback. Okay, we beat them in six. Whew. Got scared there for a second. All right, about to play the Nuggets. First game, we win. Second game, Nuggets win. Third game, Nuggets win. Fourth game, Nuggets win. We're going to SimCast for this. I really hope we're not about to lose the Nuggets right now. We're about to lose the Nuggets right now. Okay, well, we're about to lose the Nuggets. We just lost to the Nuggets. Why can I not win a game in the freaking playoffs? No matter how good my team is, I can't win a game. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. All right, guys. So we're back, back in free agency again. Luckily for us, West, or Paul George had a player option, and he was able to accept it. So he's going to be on the team this year. We don't have to deal with whatever that was, the hard cap. And um, it looks like our team is still intact. We got Westbrook and Sadoransky, Harris, Barton, Kazalon, George, and Ferguson. We got Sabonis, a power forward, and then Adams and Soto. Um, Daniel Tice. going to try to... Sign him to a deal here to be a backup, and then I'll try to sign Mike Scott to a deal here, and then let's see who else could we bring in? Carmelo for cheap. We could do the Carmelo experiment again on the Thunder, just for fun. Why not? Oh, can't. Can't sign you, Mello. Sorry, actually. No, still can't sign Mello. Sorry, Carmelo. Can't bring you to the Thunder again. All right, so training camps. I'm going to go ahead and give... Let's see. What's Will Barton at? He's still got a room to improve. Sabonis. So um, hmm. I'm going to give, actually, parameter shooting to, oh, let me select it, okay, that's weird, big man defense, it won't let me select anything, training camps, perimeter shooting, there we go, to Paul George, just because he's getting a little old now, his uh, stuff's starting to go down, so we got to curtail that, and then who else went down in the player progression, I totally forgot, was it Will Barton? Um, offensive fundamentals. Who was it? It was somebody that turned 30. It was Will Barton. What is he not that good at? Mid range and then perimeter defense. I'm going to give perimeter defense to Will Barton. And I'm going to go ahead and give. Uh, hmm.
What's Sabonis lacking in? Inside, mid-range, three-point, really defense. I'm going to give Perimeter D to Sabonis. And uh, this is, it didn't really help much. This is the final push, guys. This is the final season. Hopefully, we can win this year. I don't know how we're not winning with these stacked teams I'm putting together. Um, coaching game plan. Let's go Westbrook, George Harris, play through star. We're going to keep it going. Same thing as I did last year. If it's not broke, don't fix it. And um, let's see. Tice, Biombo. I wonder if I can move one of those guys to power forward. It would, and it's better. Biombo is better as a power forward. Tice probably is too. Um, yeah, but it's not worth it. So let's go to coaching game plan right quick one more time. So we're going to have Westbrook, Harris, George, Sabonis, Adams, Barton, Sadoransky, Ferguson, Biombo, Tice. I mean, look at it. I got 178. Everybody else has an 80, 80, 80, 82, 86, 83, 89, 85, 95. So I have faith in this team. Let's simulate. I'm just going to go straight to the end of the season. No trades here. And uh, this is going to be our year. All right, guys. Season's over. Westbrook wins MVP once again. Isaiah Todd, Rookie of the Year. Mikhail Bridges, Sixth Man of the Year. Anthony Davis, DPOY. Anthony Simmons, Most Improved. So that means no... Um, Will Barton, Sixth Man of the Year, which is, sucks. Coach of the Year goes to Bill Booth. And let's see, Russell Westbrook is All NBA first. Um, and that's it for everything. And then we have, so we ended up being the second seed. For whatever reason, the Warriors decided to like grow a pair and actually try this year, and they got 50, they had 56 wins. I don't get why we were, are 13 games worse than we were last year? Um, look at this. The Warriors ended up the season on 11 game win streak. So if it wasn't for that, they we would have been the first seed. But uh, anyways, regardless, the Magic won 63, win, won 63 games. So this might be a uphill battle for us, even if we get to the finals. Uh, let's seem like the first game. We win, playing the Lakers. We win again. We win again, and this should be a sweep. It is a sweep. About to play the Clippers. Simulate the first game. Thunder win. Clippers win. Thunder win. Thunder win again. And we make it to the Eastern Conference Final or Western Conference Finals. Now, the Suns upset the Warriors in the second round which is beautiful for us because they're probably not as good as the Warriors but they still have a super stacked team they have two 90s Aiton and Booker they have Josh Green is an 85 Isaiah Thomas is an 84 Elia Kobo is an 83 Bridges is an 88 Dumboya is an 87 TJ Warren is an 84 so you know what I actually probably rather would have played the Warriors because not only is this team extremely good but they're young the Warriors at this point are like all in their 30s now so here we go Western Conference Finals let's go to SimCast for this Simulate the first game. And we are pretty much destroying the Suns right now, which is beautiful. Next game. Oh, I thought we were destroying them, but they started making a comeback. But yeah, we're destroying the Suns once again. 2 0 lead. And the Suns are winning the start here, but the, we're, we're, we're staying in it. Uh, ooh, last second shot. Wow. So we're winning 2-1. They had to beat us on a last second shot and it looks like they're pretty much handling us here. Oh, nope, making a comeback. Let's go, we're in, the, we're in the lead. Looks like we're gonna pull it out. Maybe not. Oh no, ah, no. Yes, we pulled out. 3-1 lead. Let's simulate this, this game here. Hopefully this is the last one. And it looks like we're pretty much staying about 10 points ahead of him the whole game and now it's a blowout and we beat him 140 113 let's take a look at the box score of that game oh my goodness Barton had 21 where's Westbrook at oh he's right here 18 uh, 13 and 6 I wonder why we have so little points scored by some of these guys Paul George was 6 and 19 shooting oh gross I'm gonna look at the rest of the box score for that 
So let's simulate current round and we're about to play the magic. Let's go to simcast for this. Simulate the first game. And it doesn't look like it's going to be a total blowout from the magic, which is nice. Um, hopefully we can make a comeback here, but I doubt it. It looks like magic's going to take game one. Oh, making a little bit of a comeback. And too late. So magic take game one. Let's simulate the second game. We got to steal one at the, at, at the magic here. We can't lose both games on the road. It's going back and forth. We gotta steal one. At, we gotta steal one away. Come on. We lost to the Magic. Simulate next game. We're at home now and we're winning. And it looks like we're gonna beat the Magic unless they make a comeback. But it looks pretty much wrapped up here, and it is. And we beat the Magic. Next game at home. Now we're we're the team that's winning mostly now. Oh, I don't know. They're it's back and forth. This is very good matchup here. Same with the West Conference Finals. It was back and forth quite a lot, even though we needed it, we needed it in five, but it was never really a blowout completely. Um, they continue the simulation. I was thinking about jumping in there. One minute left. I trusted the simulation and we won. So now it's 2-2. Two, two going back to Orlando and we got to steal one on the road you have to we're getting beat we gotta make that comeback come on guys Ooh, we're making a bit of a comeback here 10 point lead come on come on it looks like they're really slowing the pace down taking these people forever to score and we lose so it's 3-2 right now simulate the next game in Oklahoma City we gotta get this W here or we're out. I'm gonna hop in this game if I have to. Don't want to let it get too out of hand here. Six minutes left, I'm gonna hop in if we're not close. Okay, four, four and a half minutes left, I'm gonna hop in if they have a seven point lead. All right, let's uh, lock this team down here. Dario Sarge is on the magic, that's interesting. Wendell Carter Jr. on the Magic as well. Right, they just missed a hook shot. We get the rebound. Comes Will Barton. Pass it to Westbrook. He's wide open. Hit that three, Westbrook. West Russell Westbrook hits the three. Let's actually check out what's been going on with this with this game so far. Ferguson's the highest scorer. Paul George is second with 16 points. Westbrook only is 5 of 14 shooting. So Westbrook's been stinking it up, basically, is what it amounts to. On the other, on the other side, Nasir Little's a stud. Patrick Beverly's good. Aaron Gordon's good, but... Terrence Ferguson, surprisingly, has been the, the person uh, leading the charge for us. Steven Adams, 4 points, 10 rebounds. Let's actually make sure it's on Hall of Fame. Yeah, it is. Okay, It always it always should be on Hall of Fame. If it's not, then the game's stupid. Or acting stupid. Alright, can we steal it from Aaron Gordon right here? Oh, I think we get a steal. Oh, steal. Let's go. CPU with the steal. Let's go, Westbrook. Yes, West, West, Westbrook with the dunk. My man. Look at this. Uh. You tell Aaron Gordon, I don't care what dunk contest you win. And look at my dunks. They got, do they have Aaron Gordon playing point guard? Is that what's going on right now? Because if you look at the guys on the team, this is crazy. What are they doing? Look at this. They got, hold on. They literally got on this team right now. <laughs> And this is funny because this is kind of how the Magic have been in real life for years. They try to do nothing but big men. They got Aaron Gordon, Jordan Bell, Dario Saric, Wendell Carter Jr., and Mo Bamba on the floor. So they got a power forward, a power forward, a power forward, and then a power forward in the center or two centers. And basically they, they're like, oh, let's get the shortest guy on the, that's on the floor right now to play point guard. Wow. We should be stealing the ball all day from Aaron Gordon if he's seriously playing point guard. Russell Westbrook driving in. Pass it to Will Barton. I'll give it to Paul George. And we got Paul George out here playing center. Oh, snatch back cheese. Paul George for three. He hits it. So basically we can't block him, but we don't need to because you're not making anything anyways. Russell Westbrook. I could have popped the three there, but ooh, that'd be a foul on them. Fifth foul on Aaron Gordon. We got foul on Aaron Gordon right now. I wonder if their guys fouled out. That's why they have this lineup. Sorry I keep pausing it, but I got so many questions. This is like ridiculous lineup. 
They have literally no foul outs. They only have a guy over one foul. And they got this stupid lineup in there. But they just brought in Nasir Little. They bring in a small forward, and then we bring in a center, of course. They bring in Patrick Beverly. Let's go, West Russell Westbrook. Where's the foul ref? Ooh, let's go. Ferguson with the rebound to Steven Adams. Pass it out. I got my buttons all mixed up there. Here we go. Post up. Let's go. Look about the post moves. Oh, Steven Adams. Ah. He's going to pass to Gordon. Oh, he's not. Fournier. No. Oh, Fournier hits the three. That's no bueno. All right. Get the ball to Paul George to West Russell Westbrook. I feel like we're going to choke here, which isn't a good feeling. I have no confidence. Russell Westbrook. I mean, if I can just dunk with Westbrook, I'm probably good. I just brought in Westbrook or uh, Paul George for Will Barton. Oh, Steven Adams with the steal. My man, give it to Paul George. Stop. Oh, almost stopped and popped. Ferguson. Back to Paul George, wide open from downtown. Paul George hits it. I brought in Paul George for Will Barton, even though he was a little more tired than Will Barton. He's got that way higher rating. Game seven, Simcast. We're going to be playing in Orlando because they had the better record. We haven't been able to win in Orlando so far, so hopefully we can. I don't know. Let's uh, see what happens. I will jump in again if I have to. But it looks like it's Blowout City out here. Oh, no. They're making a comeback. I got to jump in. One point game. It was Blowout City, but they made a comeback, unfortunately. All right. Oh, and once again, look at this. Now we got Paul George playing center again. Why? I don't know. You tell me. Will Barton. Sadoransky, hit this three. Nope. All right, I need to see if someone's uh, fouled out or what the deal is here. Biombo has five. No one's fouled out. Let's look at the energy level. Sabonis is a 97. I'm definitely going to put Sabonis in so we can get to play with him last game. Let's put in Sabonis for Barton. All right. So now we're going to not lose this game. We're ahead by one. Three minutes left. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys nope. Ooh, where's the block at? <sighs> Don't matter. We got the rebound. Drive to the basket. Oh, my God. Gary Harris is so tired. Sadoransky to Barton. Back to Sadoransky in the corner. They left him open. Don't leave my boy Sadoransky open. He's going to pass it right here. Ooh, no. It's all right. Evan Fournier, man. He's a beast in my league. He kills you. Russell Westbrook. Let's go. Drive in. Oh, no. We got to pass out. Paul George. I thought we weren't going to make that. I was scared. I wanted to, I wanted to hit a big slam jam on him, but, uh, you know, I wasn't able to do the blow-by. So, oh, well. Steal that. Ooh, I pressed the steal at the right time. I just wasn't in the right spot. Mo Bamba. I swear, I have no, I have no trust in Mo Bamba. He's always, like, almost... He always almost misses it. Go Westbrook. Ooh, let's go Westbrook. Get to the rim. And one. Nope. Oh, we got the free throws. Patrick Beverly's one foul away from being fouled out. We got to give him that foul too. Unless they take him out. Drop that man. Ooh, no. Bruh. You're going to give one Carter wide open shot like that. Come on. All right, Russell Westbrook. ISO. Go this way. Go this way. Let's go Westbrook. All the way to the rim. Yes, nobody to stop him. How do you have a team with like a billion big men and you can't stop Russell Westbrook at the rim? Just stay in there with your hands up. If we can get one more stop and then score, we'll probably be in the clear just to play the free throw game and, and win the rest of this game. No, don't leave him wide open. <sighs> We're good though. Let's not give the ball to Westbrook because I do not want to have to shoot free throws with him because he is scary. He doesn't really make them. Paul George. Oh, I just got super duper fouled right there. That could have been like Paul George leg break part two. There we go. Paul George is Emmanuel. I'll be shooting free throws with in this team, not Russell Westbrook. Which I don't know why, because Russell Westbrook's a pretty good free throw shooter, but whatever. Paul George. Hit the three. Oh, he can't hit it. I took like three or four videos that finally won a championship again, but hey, we just won the NBA title with the OKC Thunder. I don't know how we didn't win it the third year. The third year with team was way better than this year, but hey. I'm not going to complain. We won the championship. Let's see who gets the Finals MVP. You would assume it would be Westbrook, but Gary Harris had some games where he tore it up. So 
never know and it's Westbrook all right guys if you enjoyed the video leave a like comment and please subscribe we're going to be gearing up the NBA 2k19 content hard in about two weeks here and I don't want you guys to miss a thing and uh, thank you for watching I'll talk to you in the next one Mwah.